Yes, guys, I hope you're doing well and I hope you started the day in a positive way. And what I want to go over today is honestly stop fixating and mentally tormenting yourself over a number on the scales. I cannot tell you how many people I've worked with. We're talking now in the hundreds who at the beginning of their journey, all they fixate on is that number. If they get to that number, they're going to be happy. If they get to that number, there's going to be a success. And you know what I have to do with them, people? What I have to do is I have to stop them from looking down there at the scales and pick their head up and make them look around and say, what are you missing out on? If you are changing your lifestyle, right? and you're eating healthier, you're exercising regularly, you're in the gym regularly, every single week you're getting fitter, every single week you're getting healthier, every single week you're getting stronger, every week you're taking a step forward, physically, mentally doing something positive for yourself. The scales is only part and parcel of that picture. It's not the Hi, I just wanted to respond to Afsa's video that he made earlier on scale fixation and just give my viewpoint as a, a newbie. So in the beginning, when you get your plan from your coach, uh, you realise, there's that moment of realisation that your coach is not a magician and that this is going to take some real effort and it's going to be hard work. And as a newbie, sometimes that can be a, a bit overwhelming. You don't have the stamina that you, that you would like. You don't have the strength in the beginning that you would like. Anything that you've ever done before has now changed. There's so much preparation involved. And that isn't, uh, in the beginning, second nature to you, you know. And you don't see the positive benefits in the beginning. You know, you're overloaded with emotions and, you know, sensory experiences. You know, you ache in places that you didn't know you could ache. You're hungry, you're tired, you're irritable, you have cravings. Um, it may even disrupt your sleep. So in the beginning, you know, you've got all this going on. And you're slogging your guts out day in, day out. You're really putting the work in. You're really trying your hardest and giving that, that effort that the coach wants you to give. So sometimes by getting on the scales and seeing that you've lost weight can be the only indication in the beginning, the only glimmer of hope that what you're doing day in and day out is actually working. It's not until you get further along your journey that things change and your mentality changes. I'm six weeks into my journey, actually a bit longer now, um, but it's only now that I'm seeing physical changes. I can see the shape and the definition come in. My stamina has improved. I can add extra minutes onto my cardio. Uh, my strength is improving. I can lift heavier for longer. Um, so it's only those few weeks into your journey that you suddenly start to realise that the scale is just one indication and one element of how you're doing. But in the beginning, when you're new and everything is tough and alien and you're not feeling the benefits and you're not seeing the changes, sometimes the scale is the only way you know what you're doing is working and that's why you can become I think slightly fixated so I think that the key thing to remember in all of this is that this is a lifestyle change you are changing the way you live your life and that takes time